And hey guys, I'm over today at the Art of Animation. Now right now, currently I'm at the Cars section. You can see the Radiator Springs and the Ornament Valley signs. And as you're coming into the Art of Animation Resort, it'll be the section on the right. So this uh, actual resort is broken down into four different sections of the resort. And today I'm just doing the Cars section. So when you guys walk over here, so when you come out the back of the building and take a right, you're gonna be greeted to Doc over here. He's taking a peek at you. And they've got these cars spread out through this little section of the resort. So you got Doc Hudson right there. The old Hudson Hornet looking at you. At nighttime, these guys' lights do light up. I'd like to see the eyes move around. I'd like to hear the voices out of the cars when you got near them. I think Disney has the technology. I think that'll really bring to life a little bit more this section. The buildings are just big rectangular buildings, but the way it's all themed out, it's really cool. I'd actually want to stay over here, and we're probably going to wind up doing that at some point, but this is, you know, it's simple, but it's really cool looking, and so the atmosphere is really what you want to be a part of. I would like to see more of the cars, uh, like music playing around. I'd like to see more of that, and I'd like to hear more of the voices on the cars and stuff. If it came to life a little bit more, this section would be really incredible to be just walking around and seeing. The lights at night and stuff, it is cool to see the cars lit up and stuff, but if you hear more voices and more interaction, I think that'll you know bring this whole section a little bit more uh, people. And you got looking at flow right now. And this is one of my favorite cars. I'd actually like to have that car. And there's Ramon on the other side. And I don't know if you guys noticed, but in the hood of the paint, he's actually got the flames faded into the purple. So I'm not sure if that's like a ghost flame in his paint job, or if he was just repainted at one time. And here's the back of Flo. It's really a beautiful car. I'm actually going to hunt this car down now and see what it's actually called. Then you got Ramon over here. And the best part of both of these cars, I think, is the back ends. The shapes are incredible, the back ends, and those tail lights. Low and slow. So that's Ramon, and that's Flo. There's the cozy cone, and that's Sally's place. Now that's actually just a uh, set of bathrooms in there and some changing in there and you could go right on through the middle and head on up into the pool. And then you got Ta Casa Della Tires over there Lu with Luigi and Guido. And I'm actually going to walk right on in there and show you guys what it looks like inside this building. Now if you guys are on property anywhere and you guys want to come over here, just jump on a bus. A lot of people come down here and they don't even know this place exists. Half the resorts they don't know exist. Jump on a bus and get around. If you got a lot of time and nothing to do at nighttime, or you can't figure out anything to do, you're out of park passes or whatever, jump on a bus, come over to one of the resorts. Do some homework before you come down, that way you know where you're going. But this is what it looks like inside. Mainly it's just hotel rooms. You got no lobby or anything like that. And then you've got your big picture on the wall and you see Luigi right there on it. Now each one of these hotels is gonna have one of them big pictures inside. We'll go into another one, but that's just to give you an idea what they look like inside. That's the back of Guido. And it really does feel like you're in the movie. They could use that big tar machine. I think that would be kind of cool sitting around. I think they could use more cars though. And get the fire truck brought down here. Bring Stanley in. But that's a look at the pool. And as you guys can tell, the pool is dead today. There's nobody in there, one or two people. I'm just going to shoot the pool today from the outside. It's not really that big of a pool. We do have that pool posted if you guys want to see it, but uh, it's just a basic small little pool if you guys don't want to go to the big uh, Finding Nemo pool. 
And now we're making our way up right now to Fillmore. And look up above, you can see his name up on top there. The organic fuel, man. This guy is so cool. I think he could use a little bit of a paint job, though. And last time I was down here, Sally was, she was covered up, and I think uh, Lightning McQueen was just getting uncovered. There's another look at the pool and the old cones in there. Now, if you guys are looking to come down here and you want to get a cone, you better get here early because if there are people coming down, you can see there's only a limited amount of them. You guys see up ahead there a little bit, you see Sarge tucked in there. We're making our way around, but another look at the pool for you. Hey, if you want to go swimming, you know, it's a nice little pool. They don't all have to be the big spectacular ones. Sometimes it's nice to just get away and have a pool to yourself. I've been in the pools a few times and it's just been so many people in them that it's just, it's not even worth going in. I'd rather pick a different pool and go into a different pool. So just remember that when you guys are booking your hotels, get a place that's got multiple pools. There's Sarge. And once again, these guys, their headlights do light up at nighttime. And it would be a little bit nicer if they had a little interaction going on. See, hearing the voices is pretty cool. Walking around hearing like Mater doing something interactive, a little motion sensor or something on there, and then the eyeballs looking around. Put them on a loop, a random loop, whatever he says little back idea of what the pool looks like there guys and let's make our way on down to Mater and he's gonna be the last car on the walk that's what I'm saying they could get the fire truck in here they got more than enough room to bring the fire truck in bring Stanley in they could bring some more cars in here. They could actually load it up and I think it would really bring to life this place a little bit more. It is pretty cool, but the cars are awesome. That's what it's all about over here. The old tow meter. And he's got the rear view mirrors on. I'll show you guys the back, see what he looks like around back. Looks like a lot of people have been throwing gravel up inside of him. There's his crooked sign. And I'll bring you guys on in. I'll show you this section here before we head out. And there you go, there's Mater on the other side there. So each one of these buildings is going to have one of these art pieces in, and most of it's just rooms. So you're not going to have the big, uh, you know, the welcome inside there with the people at the courtesy desk and stuff to check in. That's all done over at the actual Art of Animation check-in. And then you're just going to walk over to your rooms over here. So even though it's set up into four sections, it's actually, you're going to check in in the uh, Finding Nemo section. And then you're going to branch out to where you're actually staying, what section you're in. It's super cold on the inside to the buildings, but when you get out here, it's, it's like 95 degrees out here today. But this gives you an idea of what you're seeing when you're walking out of this building. We'll get a last look at this. That's the cozy cone right there. Once again, bathrooms, you got a place to change in there, and then you walk right on through there to the pool. That's where all these guys are going right now. And we'll get one last look at Ramon and Flo while we're in this little section here, guys. You can either stay in here or you can make your way out to the other sections. And this uh, resort is actually set up into four different sections. You've got the cars section, you've got the Finding Nemo section, 
you've got the Lion King section and you got the Little Mermaid section. So it's set up in the 40s and are each going to be themed according to the movies that you're uh, actually going through. And uh, up ahead there, you can't see, but around the corner, they've got the uh, seagulls from uh, Finding Nemo. And every, I think it's every 30 minutes, you hear them go, mine, 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 mine. So it's really cool to hear, and it's really loud, too. One last look at uh, Doc Hudson, and now we're going to go see the sheriff quick. And they're the coolest cars, so you know I do recommend getting over and looking at this at least this one resort. This is my favorite over at the Art of Animation, and then the pool is obviously the best over at the uh, Finding Nemo section. But that's about it, guys. See you on the next one.